Hello everyone. Unfortunately, Spiral from the Book of Saw has been delayed until May 21st, 2021. This is due to COVID-19 grabbing planet Earth by the balls. Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures might have gotten away with releasing Spiral over the summer or around Halloween time, as they did so traditionally. However, they really don't want Spiral to compete with Halloween Kills, that is, even if that movie is still going to be released as planned. We have no idea how the world is going to look by the autumn time anyway at this point. So, for some of you who aren't aware, something strange but interesting happened on IMDb not too long ago. Costas Mandalor, who portrayed Detective Lieutenant Mark Hoffman in the Saw movies, had his name added to the cast list for Sparrow from the Book of Saw. Now, the last we seen of Mark Hoffman was when Dr. Lawrence Gordon locked him away in the bathroom of Saw 7 3D. Hoffman didn't appear in Jigsaw, Saw 8 neither, was he mentioned or even referenced as far as I'm aware. During the commentary for Saw 7, both writers and producers have stated that he actually did die in the bathroom after the end of the film. Josh Stolberg was asked a question on Twitter by a fan on whether Mark Hoffman would appear in Sparrow from the Book of Saw or not. The response that Josh gave was that Hoffman wouldn't be ignored. Now, take a look at this photo that Darren Lynn Bousman shared while he was filming Spiral. These dummies definitely do resemble Detective Mark Hoffman, Costas Mandalore, the actor who played him. I for one have no idea why the dummy is naked or what happened to the genitalia either. However, this has led me to believe that Mark Hoffman's corpse might actually be shown in Spiral from the Book of Saw. For all we know, Hoffman could have found a way to escape the bathroom, possibly by smashing his foot against the floor and breaking it in order to slip it out of the shackle bolt. For those who don't know, that is what Detective Eric Matthews was originally scripted to do for the opening scene of Saw 3, before they changed it to him using the toilet lid instead. So, if my theory is correct here, Hoffman could have escaped the bathroom, but could also have been placed in another trap. Or maybe he was straight up murdered by Dr. Gordon, Ryan or Brad, maybe Logan, who knows. It's possible that Sparrow might take this before, during or after Jigsaw. Even though Spiral is supposed to move away from the other films with a fresh new story and new characters, it will have some minor references and easter eggs to the last eight films. Jigsaw, the movie, never addressed that Mark Hoffman's corpse was discovered. I mean, you could say that they imply it. Detective Halloran is trying to discover who the new Jigsaw accomplice is and not once is Detective Mark Hoffman mentioned. So this could hint that they've already discovered the bathroom and found his corpse. Anyone can edit IMDB just as they can on Wikipedia. It's not hard. It does not take a genius to work out on how to do it. So Costas Mandalore's name could have been added to IMDB's cast as a prank. Now, with the franchise as popular as Saw, it won't be long until someone else, possibly involved with the production of the film, comes along that and then just corrects it. All of the Saw fan pages I follow on social media went crazy when the scene causes Mandler's name attached to Spiral's IMDb page. I also happen to notice that Kevin Gordert, who was the editor of the first five Saw movies, as well as Jigsaw, directed Saw 6 and was forced to direct Saw 7 3D, has received credit on IMDb Spiral as an executive producer. This has actually been confirmed that Kevin Gordert was involved with Spiral from the Book of Saw to some degree. Darren and Boisman did ask him to come back and edit Spiral after it was announced that he would be returning to direct the latest entry in the Saw franchise. Unfortunately, Kevin Gerda has been busy with other projects and is unavailable to return for the next Saw film. So this is what has made the possibility of Mark Hoffman making a comeback in Spiral a lot trickier to determine whether it is actually true or not. Fuck off Facebook notification. Based on what I have seen and discussed in my previous vlogs, I am open to the possibility of Mark Hoffman returning to Saw. I think it's inevitable. The dummies are what have really convinced me otherwise. They might not have filmed Costas Mandler on the set, but it's more likely that they brought him down to the studio and modelled the dummies after him. In order to make the dummies more authentic and resemble Costas Mandler as close as possible, he would have to be measured in person with his height, make sure that the body structure is correct in order to sustain the accuracy of the dummies to mark off and as close as possible. It makes sense to bring the actor back to the set at least for that purpose. If Mark Hoffman does appear in Spiral, I reckon it will be, a, at the most, a cameo. He could have 10 seconds, more or less, on the spotlight before the narrative of the film moves on to something else. It would be extremely bizarre if Mark Hoffman was never mentioned again.
He may even be included in a flashback or even a photograph of him on a wanted poster or news article revealing his involvement with Jigsaw and to be on the lookout for him. Someone pointed out something interesting in the teaser for Spiral. I never noticed it and I think it's unlikely but at the same time it's really interesting and fun to think about. I really hope that this is the case because it would be such a cool way to tie these films together. In this frame, someone pointed out that these two officers in the uniform could be Mark Hoffman and Detective Halloran in the past. I mean, it's a cool theory, however, as far as we are all aware, Spiral is taking place in the present day, most likely after Jigsaw. But at the same time, I would not rule this out on being another flashback in the past. It is possible. Saw is notorious for flashbacks. A lot of movies and The Walking Dead especially have clearly edited the narrative of trailers in order to mislead the audience. This is so that we cannot guess what is going to happen in the film. So that we are left even more shocked when we do see the film and learn that we had it all wrong. Subverting expectations. I would love for Cosmos Manlo to return to the Saw franchise. It would be great to see him make a comeback even if it was just brief. Like for a minute or two. The original idea for Jigsaw 2 was going to be before Chris Rock came on board with the idea for Spiral. I think it was extremely likely that we could have seen Mark Hoffman again in some capacity. Jigsaw 2 was originally going to focus a lot more on John Kramer, possibly more than any of the other Saw movies did. So Hoffman definitely would have had to make an appearance. Whether we will get that Saw movie, Jigsaw 2, is completely up in the air right now. I really do hope that Gosses Mandler does return as Mark Hoffman in Spiral, but this could have been a prank someone attempted to pull on us. It could have just been a mistake that somebody made, but I wouldn't rule this out. If that's the case, then well done because it was funny and you definitely got all the Saw discussion threads going crazy over it. If it was a joke, well done, you did it. That's all I have to say for now folks. Stay safe, wash your hands and goodbye.